Hey guys, welcome back to the Parkiverse. This week, I bring you guys a one-stop guide on how to lock up your Android apps as well as hide them so only you can have access. But that's not all. Using on-screen gestures, we're also going to be able to jump right into these apps. So anytime we double tap on our home screen, we're taken right into the app. Or maybe not. Maybe we'll just succeed in tricking unauthorized users to think that the app is actually broken. But before we get started, if you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And don't forget to submit your live wallpaper and home screen requests right from within the Epic Live Wallpaper app. Just head to the live section and then click on the request button. And remember to boost your favorite ones using both the heart and the booster buttons here. So, to get all of this working on your phones, we're going to have to use two different apps. The first of which to lock up all of our stuff, protecting them behind a passcode or even a fingerprint. All thanks to the app promptly named App Lock, which you can grab free from the Play Store. So now once you've set up your initial passcode, just use the plus button in the bottom right to add in any of the apps that you want to lock. And of course, make sure to allow it all of the permissions that it needs in order to work properly. And once done, you should have your selected apps within a list just like this. Now at this point, any app that you add to the list will be instantly locked. So now anytime you want to use the apps, you'll have to unlock them before you can. Now there are a ton of tweaks and customization options available within the settings of the app, so make sure to check it all out yourselves. But the real cool feature that I want to focus on is this fake button, which once toggled on, tricks anyone that uses your phone to think that the app is broken. And all they can do is simply press OK to close the app. However, for us, by simply holding the OK button, we'll be able to continue on to unlock our app. Pretty awesome. Now that we have that out the way, let's move on and completely hide our apps so no other users can find them and they're only accessible through the use of gesture controls. For this, the second app that we're going to use is actually a third party launcher. Welcome to Nova. And for all of the following, you're going to need the Prime version. For a super quick rundown on how to use Nova, check out the video in the top right corner. Otherwise, let's continue on by first hiding our apps. For this, let's long press on our home screen and head to Nova settings. After which, just simply head into the app draw section. Scroll further down until you find the hide app option. And using this, just simply select any of the apps that you want to hide. In this example, it will be Discord. And just like that, it will now be hidden from the rest of the launcher. Well, that is apart from that search feature. So to get around this, still staying within the app drawer section, just scroll a little further up and change the setting for search bar placement from the default top to none, removing it from our app drawer. Now for the final piece of the puzzle, the gesture controls. For this, from on Nova Launcher settings, we want to simply head to the gesture and input section. Here, you can assign any of your apps, including our newly hidden ones, to any of these predetermined gestures. Now, if you want to find out how to get iOS 15's emojis working on your Android phone, check this video out next. If you like this video and want to see more just like this, make sure you like and subscribe to help support the channel. And make sure you check out my other Android customization videos. See you next time on Into the Parkiverse.